Ahoy, mateys! Under orders from Captain Oak, I'm here to tell ye how to play the pirate treasure hunt game. So pay attention, or ye may have to walk the plank. You'll make your way through the Neverland map by answering questions that will get you closer to Captain Hook's treasure chest. Along the way, you'll learn a lot of interesting facts about us pirates. Use the arrows on your remote control to select your answers and press enter to make your choice. When you have successfully made your way onto Captain Hook's ship, the treasure chest will reveal your reward. All hands on deck. Your treasure hunt is about to begin. If at any time during our treasure hunt you'd like to abandon ship, click on the circle marked with the X. Good luck, mateys! Who tells Captain Hook that this is Peter Pan's hideout? Tinkerbell, Tiger Lily, or Mr. Smee? Right on course. One of the risks of being a pirate was that of bodily injury, which is why a pirate is often seen with an eye patch, a peg leg. Or a hook, like our dear captain. Wendy almost throws something at the mermaids. What be it? A starfish, a seashell, or a hairbrush? Well done! Pirates often told of seeing beautiful young girls with tails like fish far out at sea. While today you know that these are mythical creatures, what they probably saw were dolphins or porpoises. Or was it just their imagination? gets taken to Skull Rock by Captain Hook, Tinkerbell, Tiger Lily, or Wendy? Nice going! Legends of amazing pirate treasure in hidden locations have fascinated adventurers for centuries. Maps what promised the way to buried treasures have led to many a fruitless expedition. After smoking the peace pipe, John's face turns what color? Red, blue, or green. Cheers, mate. That's right. Hauling in the anchor was a difficult job. The anchor was so heavy that it required all hands on deck to haul it in. Heavy wooden bars helped the men to raise the anchor. What flag does our pirate ship fly? Mickey Mouse, Skull and Crossbones, or Peter Pan? Why, that's it. The Skull and Crossbones pirate flag was known as the Jolly Roger. The sight of this flag, however, was not so jolly and would strike fear into the hearts of crews under a pirate attack. <laughs> Welcome aboard, mateys! Now then, how to get into the captain's quarters, eh? Which pirate has the key? 
Excellent. In order for the captain or crew to go ashore, they would need to use one of the ship's boats. These boats were hung from cranes on the ship's deck and were lowered into the water. These ropes and pulleys made the job of hauling the boats out of the water easier. Whoa, fine sailing. You're in. Now, one more thing. Where be that key to the captain's treasure chest? <laughs>